Welcome back to IAS Tech. Today we are diving into unique blend of React JS and Tailwind CSS to craft a sleek and functional digital clock. And guess what? Every piece of code you will see today is generated with the help of ChatGPT4. We will create a digital clock that not only shows the current time but also displays the date. So whether you are a beginner or looking to grasp the synergy between React and Tailwind or an advanced coder curious about how ChatGPT can aid in development, this is a session you will not want to miss. So let's get started. As always, my React project is already set up and running in my browser. I have configured the Tailwind CSS as well. So now let's begin and start asking my question with the chat GPT. So let's write down create digital clock with React JS and Tailwind CSS. Uh, display a digital clock that shows the current time and date make sure to provide a full code without skipping anything the clock should be very modern and attractive very user friendly so i have enabled the prompt perfect uh, plugin so i wanted to use it so it did not use that plugin yet so i will edit my prompt and here i will ask it to optimize my prompt or enhance my prompt so in this way it will uh, target that plugin that i have activated and it will use it so it has passed my initial prompt to that plugin and that plugin will help us to generate and optimize a better prompt so the prompt is can you please provide a detailed comprehensive guide on how to create a digital clock using react.js and tailwind css the clock should have a modern and attractive design display the current time and date and be user friendly it is important that the code is complete and include all necessary details okay so it has started to provide us the code it has created a project initialize the tailwind that is done in our case next uh, we need to create this digital clock component so let's create a new file here with that name and i will copy paste this code and next we need to add this piece of code in the app.js and let's see what we got all right so this is the clock that we can see so we can ask chat gpt to uh, change the format format as well so so for example i want to uh, show a uh, time with the 12 hours format uh, with the am and pm at the end so let's do that update my code to show am pm format and also a button that that will uh, change the format to 24 hours uh, that will toggle okay and again also i want to show the uh, i want to make the date uh, with more reader friendly format okay let's try it
all right it has optimized my prompt and it is could you please make changes to my code so that it shows the time in the am pm format it should also include a button that allows the user to switch between 12 hours and 24 hours format furthermore i would like you to improve the date and this date display to make it more easily readable that's better okay of course here's a enhanced version of digital clock component that includes the requested features display time in am pm format toggle button to switch between 12 hours and 24 hours format and improved date display okay so let's replace our old code with this new one let's try it now okay now we can see that we have the time in the pm uh, am pm format and the date is in the better format we can see it is tuesday 26th september and we also have the toggle option you can change the format now before ending this video let's quickly take a look at our code and uh, review our code what we have generated with the help of chat gpt so chat gpt has given us this app.js file where we have just a simple app uh, component and in that component we are returning the digital clock component that we have imported from here and this is the digital clock component and in this digital clock component we have two states and uh, this is the date state that has a default value as the current date object and here we have the boolean value for the uh, for this variable that is is 24 or format so this will save the keep the state if it is 24 or or uh, 12 hours format and after that we are adding uh, a life cycle hook method that would execute this uh, logic every time when any value any state is changed because of this so when you add empty array that's mean it would uh, uh, actually let me double check with the chat gpt as well okay uh, so i want to make correction about what i said so it is saying that it would uh, execute that logic only once when the component would be mounted so as it is saying that uh, it is saying that it will run once right after the component mounts so that's what about it after that we uh, in that logic we have the set timeout so as soon as the component is mounted uh, we will wait for one second after that and then we will set, uh, update the date uh, to the current date and after that we will so we also have the we have provided that cleanup method so if we go back to the chat gpt you will see that it, it is called basically cleanup function so when you return a function as the response of the use effect that function is called cleanup function that basically clear so it will run once when the component is about to unmount, unmount. so it will uh, execute it and in that uh, uh, function you will write your logic that will clean up all of the uh, unnecessary tasks that are not required after component is unmounted so the, you will uh, this will uh, help us to um, uh, avoid memory leaks and uh, improve the performance of our application so so when uh, our component is uh, unmounted we will clear that interval after that we have a function toggle time format so this is basically uh, reversing the current value of the of that state so if it is false it will make it uh, true if it is true then it will make it false because of this not operator in front of it and then we have a local variable formatted time 
and here we are checking that if it is 24 uh, hours format then we will use this one we are using date object or instance and calling a function to local uh, local time string es us and here we are we are passing a property or 12 false or true depending on this value so if you set it false then it will uh, show the 24 hours format otherwise it will show the 12 hours format and now we are formatting the uh, we are formatting the date so we use the date instance and we are uh, specifying the things that we want to specify and so for example weekly a weekday is long and year is numeric month is long and day is numeric all right then we have these uh, tailwind css classes we are using flexbox here and uh, we are showing the formatted time in the h1 heading and uh, the date in the h2 after that we have a button where we have the toggle format text uh, and that is also being changed with uh, based on this state is 24 or format and also we are calling a function whenever user click on that button that will call the toggle time format function that we already have discussed here all right i think that's all i wanted to cover in this video thank you for joining us to in today's session on creating a digital clock using react js and tailwind css with assistance of chat gpt4 we have successfully integrated the power of ai with the beauty of front-end development giving us functional and visually appealing digital clock if you enjoyed this coding session and learned something new don't forget to like share and subscribe to your stack we will back with more such engaging and educational coding sessions until then happy coding and see you soon